Hey everybody, Tim here with your 1245 Prayer Life Devotional for today. It is Monday, May 17th. I hope you're doing well. Thanks for taking a moment uh, to start your week with us here uh, with these prayer lives on this beautiful day. Uh, if you don't hear anything else from this devotional, I hope and pray that you are able to get outside if you are able to uh, and enjoy this beautiful weather. The sunshine that we're having, the warmth, uh, get outside, go for a walk, sit outside, soak in the sun uh, and breathe in the fresh air uh, and just enjoy the beautiful weather that we're having. So it is my prayer and my hope uh, that you have an opportunity to do that sometime today. I was actually going to do this video for you uh, outside, but my neighbors are uh, enjoying the weather and uh, tending to their yards and, and mowing and and, and all these sorts of things, and so I thought it would be best if I did this video uh, inside for today. But hopefully in the future, I'll be able to get outside uh, and, and share a video with you. Today there are three readings uh, for our devotional time. I'm going to be focusing in on the third one, uh, so feel free to read the other two when you have a moment later on today. The first one is from Psalm 115. The second is from Exodus chapter 28, verses 29 through 30. And the one that I will be reading for you uh, today is from Philippians chapter 1, verses 3 through 11. And the title of this section is Paul's Prayer for the Philippians. And this is a letter that he is writing uh, and has sent while he's been imprisoned. And it starts off here with verse number 3 for our reading. I thank my God every time I remember you, constantly praying with joy and in every one of my prayers for all of you, because of your sharing in the gospel from the first day until now. I am confident of this, that the one who began a good work among you will bring it to completion by the day of Jesus Christ. It is right for me to think this way about all of you, because you hold me in your heart. For all of you share in God's grace with me, both in my imprisonment and in the defense and confirmation of the gospel. For God is my witness, how I long for all of you with the compassion of Christ Jesus. And this is my prayer, that your love may overflow more and more with knowledge and full insight, to help you to determine what is best, so that in the day of Christ you may be pure and blameless having produced the harvest of righteousness that comes through Jesus Christ for the glory and praise of God. Here ends our reading. So a few things that stand out uh, to me um, is Paul's devotion to be praying for, for the Philippians, saying that uh, he is constantly praying uh, with joy in every one of his prayers for all of you. Um, and I just think about, you know, our time here. We spend time together uh, trying to grow in our knowledge of God as we spend time in, in God's Word and thinking about how it applies to our lives. And we always spend time uh, praying for one another. Even though we're not able to gather uh, in person and see one another each and every day, um, we are spending time uh, as a faith family uh, praying for one another uh, each and every day uh, with these prayer lives. And so I think about how uh, it really just connects with, with this reading. You know, Paul wasn't with him or with these people. Uh, he was imprisoned, um, but yet took the time to write these letters uh, and, and sent uh, these letters um, to the people that he loved, that he wanted to reach out and, and give them here in this letter, especially at the beginning, um, a word of encouragement. Uh, with that. And so I'm thankful for all of you, and uh, I hope that these times are are a blessing, and uh, I, I thank you for taking a moment out of your day to join me uh, for this prayer life. There might be some other things that stood out to you uh, with this reading or in the other readings that, that you have, and so feel free to, to let us know in the comments, and I hope this time is a blessing for you. Can I pray for us to wrap up our our prayer life for today. Let us pray. Dear God, I want to thank you uh, for the gift of this beautiful day and this opportunity to come together to spend time in your word, 
and to spend time in prayer, even though that we're not able to gather together. I pray that you surround everybody that is watching this video. Um, and through these words and this time together, I pray that you continue to open ways that we can continue to grow in our knowledge of you um, and learn more about you each and every day. And I pray that as we go throughout our week, uh, we look for ways uh, that you, ways that we can uh, share uh, this good news uh, and these teachings uh, with those that are all around us. I pray that you continue to watch over us and you keep us all healthy and safe until we are able to meet again. In your name I pray. Amen. All right, everybody. I hope you have a great Monday. And like I said, uh, the biggest thing is I hope you're able to get outside and enjoy some of this beautiful weather that God has given us today. Blessings on the rest of your day, and I'll see you again soon.